Um, first, we'll get to the same spell or full name and your rank. Uh, Steve Hollihan, H-O-L-A-H-I-N, Second Superintendent of State Drug Investigation. Yeah, can you tell us what's happening this morning? Um, approximately quarter to nine this morning, uh, members of the State Drug Investigation Unit executed a search warrant on the premises here at One Park Road, Milton. And uh, when they executed the warrant, they located um, equipment associated with illicit drug laboratories. Um, they then searched a, another couple of areas in the building and located further equipment and a male suspect as well. So they just found equipment. Have you found any drugs? They found the, uh, the suspect administering drugs at that time. And uh, he's now been taken to hospital by the ambulance in relation to um, his um, um, drug affected state. And the chemicals they were taking here? Um, the equipment and the chemicals are associated with um, reduction of amphetamines. The, uh, was it information that had come from, sh from shopkeepers here? Or um, information came to the police from a, a number of um, areas, including um, customs and also the community. It sounds like an elaborate setup. Um, the male's known to us from previous involvement and certainly he has been involved in this type of thing before. So it did have some commercial grade equipment and also uh, a, a range of chemicals. I understand it's not the first time a lab's been found in this location? Uh, I understand that approximately 18 months ago there was uh, an incident here or some, some drug paraphernalia located here also. Um, we can't say exactly the, the length of time. Obviously our investigations are ongoing. Um, as I said, he's been taken to hospital. We yet to interview him and um, his um, health is the main thing at this point in time. We have police uh, with him at the moment. Often when we see labs like this, they're in fairly remote areas uh, away from, from sort of dense populations. How dangerous is it having someone like this that's so, so dense and crowded? Oh, extremely dangerous. Uh, dangerous in the, in the terms of the production method they use obviously can be very, very flammable and explosive, but also dangerous in relation to contamination of um, chemicals and um, and also uh, the types of equipment that are used. Also. So is that why you set up this exclusion zone? Certainly, uh, we work closely with Queensland Fire and Rescue and uh, in consultation with them, a decision was made to um, set up an exclusion zone here for the safety of uh, for the community and the members of the public and also uh, evacuate the building here for uh, all the other business premises and residents that are there. So you're speaking with one man in his 30s at the moment. Uh, are you uh, looking to speak with any other alleged offenders? Look, our investigations are at early stage at this point in time. We believe, obviously, there are other people involved in this, uh, this incident here, and um, those investigations will take their normal course. Have they been able to use a large amount of illicit substances here? Um, I'm unable to say at this point in time. There's still two other areas to be searched, um, and certainly the main, uh, main concern at the moment is to uh, render the area safe, and uh, then a thorough search uh, will be recorded of the premises there. So you can't put value on, on what you found so far? Not at this point. And the actual area where, the, where the, you found the lab, can you where it is? Uh, there's a, um, a number of premises in there that are used for uh, a range of specialty stores and businesses. And there's also uh, residential areas in there as well. The, uh, the male, male person was located within a, uh, a residential unit in there. So is the male person linked to any uh, businesses in this vicinity? Uh, we don't believe he's personally linked to any businesses. Um, but uh, obviously he's a, an occupant of the building there at this point in time. So he was, he was actually administering the drugs to himself, it wasn't like he was overcome by fumes? No, no, he was, uh, the information I had from the investigators who executed the search warrant was that he, as they executed the search warrant, he was in the process of uh, injecting himself. So did he resist arrest or was he violent towards the officers at all? No, I've got no information to suggest he was violent or resisted arrest. Uh, he was in a fairly drug affected state um, and the Queensland Ambulance made an assessment to transport him to the hospital to have him assessed. Certainly, um, we, uh, we're very pleased to be able to take this type of um, uh, illicit drug laboratory out of the community, uh, particularly in a, in a very built up area here uh, close to the city and uh, a lot of business premises here. So we're very pleased to be able to um, successfully uh, achieve that today. What sort of charges do you face? Um, as I said before, he hasn't been spoken to and the full investigation hasn't been conducted, but uh, certainly we'd be looking at uh, charges in relation to possessing uh, certain equipment associated with um, drug laboratories and, and obviously uh, looking at production of, um, uh, of, of dangerous drugs also. Presumably you, you need to move a fair bit of stuff in and out to operate a lab like this. Does it surprise you that it's been set up somewhere that's so public? Look, um, obviously being a resident of the building there, it's access at all hours. Uh, it's not as though it's like a, uh, an area where we've only got access between business hours. So um, 
and uh, we don't know whether the equipment has been moved in there on, on a, over a period of time. Um, but certainly uh, we're very thankful for the information from um, our partner agencies, uh, Customs, and also from uh, the community. How many Customs have you found so far, exactly? Um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure at the moment. As I said, there's two further areas that's still to be searched, um, storage sheds. Uh, there are a number of uh, items of commercial grade uh, glassware and um, utensils that are associated with uh, illicit drug laboratories and also uh, a variety of chemicals. Do Customs uh, locate chemicals or equipment destined for this premise? Customs have received information as a result of their investigations in regards to people purchasing uh, equipment that is associated with or could be associated with uh, illicit drug laboratories. Do you think this um, a lab has been set up sometime? Um, I'm unable to say exactly. I would suggest that um, it's obviously not something that's been set up today but the exact uh, duration it's been here, we're not sure. And is it in the upstairs area there? Or? Yes, I believe it's in the, the upstairs area. There's a number of, um, of premises there in business and, and residential as well. Was it actually cooking up a batch uh, when the raid happened? No, it wasn't. Thank you. Thank you.